The point is, if you're going to call someone out for these negative social ideologies or behaviors, that's only half the argument, right? I mean, you have to go one step further and educate people as to why they shouldn't say or do what they did. But this step really isn't taken when you get to hide behind a screen and a keyboard, right? Social media is a revolutionary invention that should be helping us be more educated and share ideas, but it's really a void where we scream at each other with emojis and cat memes. At this point, we're really misusing the internet, and Al Gore is pissed but but he's too terrified to say anything because he's afraid that the trolls will bring up the election again and we really are misusing the internet for hateful purposes you know for example using tinder to find gay people to attack them in christian colleges it's been reported that people will change their sexuality to same sex to find gay people so they can vilify them but Wait, I mean, what? I mean, who has this much time on their hands, right? Maybe if they were less hateful, people of the opposite sex would be able to love them. This is how people wind up jacking off into other people's socks on purpose. Okay, Jeff? That was an accident. You need to let that go. Is there an app for, for people that just need hugs? Because, because there really should be one. You know, this problem would be solved if we just hug people a little bit more and let them know that it's okay to be friends with gay people because gay people are people too!